The annual rituals of the Phoenix cult are celebrated in Elvenar again this year, and a new Phoenix egg is found. But before we tell you everything about the rise of the Phoenix cult, please make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss anything from the world of Elvenar. Oh man, I have some great news to share. A metallic blue egg was found and we are sure that this must be the egg of an ashen phoenix. Such a miracle! We only knew that they exist from old drawings and we are so happy to have come across this egg. During the rise of the phoenix cult, you use sky essence to open chests. Opening chests grants you some cool rewards like goods, units or instants and also flags. Every time you fill the line of 20 flags, you will gain one grand prize. These grand prizes contain Ashen Phoenix artifacts, as well as various other powerful rewards. Collecting enough Sky Essence is your main task to be able to obtain the event's rewards. Most Sky Essence is available through completing the event quests. And by completing those quests, you will unlock various milestones, among which you can also find even more Sky Essence, as well as an amazing, unique avatar if you finish all. On top of the quests, you can also collect Sky Essence around your city. And make sure to log in daily because Akma will give you 45 Sky Essence for free every day. Once you've collected enough Sky Essence, you can open chests in the event. Have a look at what you could possibly find inside to decide which one you want. Do you go for the daily exclusive or for the flags? Find the chest that suits you best. The Ashen Phoenix is the fifth phoenix in the world of Elvenar and has some cool effects. Not only does it provide culture and population, it also produces mana or goods or supplies if you haven't reached the Wood Elves chapter yet. However, the coolest effect of the new phoenix is its feeding effect. By feeding it with pet food, which you can craft, it will give additional event currency when completing event quests. During the Rise of the Phoenix cult event, this means that for every event quest you complete after feeding the Ashen Phoenix, you will receive more Sky Essence from each quest. Evolving the Phoenix will increase this percentage from 1% additional event currency on Stage 1 to 2% on Stage 10, and all the extra Sky Essence surely adds up. The effect lasts for up to 33 days, more than enough to cover the full duration of any event and that for just one pet food. The Ashen Phoenix can only be evolved using Ashen Phoenix artifacts, which you can obtain as grand prizes in the event. Every second grand prize you unlock is an Ashen Phoenix artifact. And if that isn't enough, you can also complete event quests. Finishing enough of those will enable you to reach milestones, which can also contain the Ashen Phoenix artifacts. Note that the Ashen Phoenix artifacts are not the same as regular Phoenix artifacts or Cold Fire Phoenix artifacts. Via crafting, it is also possible to craft regular Phoenix artifacts using two Ashen Phoenix artifacts and some spell fragments. With the regular Phoenix artifacts, you can evolve your Fire, Storm, or Aureate Phoenixes. Do you not have those buildings yet? Then you can also craft their Stage 1 version in the Magic Academy. These crafting recipes remain available for a limited time only, during the event and a short time after. The Cold Fire Phoenix or its artifacts are not available in this year's event. Learn all about the interesting story Ukma and Apu have to share. In the event quests window, you can unlock more story elements as you progress through the event and you can read the story again whenever you want, for as long as the event lasts. I cannot wait for us to get in closer contact with the elusive Ashen Phoenix. And with your help, I'm sure that we will be successful. But before we try to ride the Phoenix, and yes, you heard that right, why not leave a comment below or visit the official Elvenar forums. See you in game!